Hello, sir, beautiful people. I am Cliff. This is. Yes! There you is. did it! I did it! I went high pitched though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah, did it! Is that how I talk? Yeah, uh, I don't know, you just got excited. Oh no, you don't talk like that. I actually don't talk like that. You have a very smooth, calming voice. I do. I like this. I'm being cool. This right started now. off nicely. He's I'm like always Bond. Cool. You're very cool. You're a very cool guy. Martini. This is the Deadly Dailies. Yep. And today we're going to do something different. Actually, Cliff had a topic that he wanted to address on camera with all of our beautiful people. Yeah. And you wanted to, so I believe you said you wanted to talk about the science of a perfect movie partner? Yeah. So I have no idea what he's going to talk about, but what, I, what, what I'm picturing in my head with you live right now is that obviously the best person to sit and watch a movie with. That you got it. That's, that's, exactly that's basically it. it. The science. What I, when I sit down with somebody, what I expect. What, not what I expect, what I would like out of them, right? And there's a few things. A so, of, let, let me throw it to you. Okay, sure. Don't get excited. Yes. <laughs> this is Cliff, and this is science. So I'm going to talk about the science Here it is. of a movie partner, uh, of the perfect movie partner for me. This is some important stuff, and, and let's start off by, a lot of people are like, hey man, I can't stand it when somebody talks during a movie. Mm -hmm. That's not true for me. I don't mind if somebody talks during the movie. It's specific moments they choose to speak in. Because things are happening in a movie, and when you go to watch a movie with somebody, and something awesome happens on the screen, it's, an aw it's a great moment when you look over at the person and go, oh my god, right? And you have that oh my god moment. It's it's awesome. It's spectacular. But don't talk. Strong. That's it's very strong. That's a, yeah, dude. You like almost knocked me out of my chair. Like, the thing is, don't talk during dialogue. That's pretty straightforward stuff. If there's a little bit of an action scene happening where you don't need to hear specifically, you can look over and say, that was really cool, eh? What's that all about? That's fine. I like that in a movie partner. All right. You want to cut in on the question? Oh, shoot. Professor Clifton. Yeah. Does it bother you if people are talking about things that aren't movie related? Yes. Okay. Be talking about the movie, right? Something you see. talking about the movie. And don't ask me a question because you weren't paying attention. Don't say, hey, why did he do that? Well, I don't know yet. Well, what's going to happen with this oh, guy? Oh, I hate that. I've never seen the movie before. I don't know what's uh, going to yeah, happen. Yeah, exactly. If you want to look over... Is that the killer? I don't... That person <laughs> don't just came on screen. Another thing that I like. So, number one, speaking... At the appropriate times, not not speaking, speaking at the appropriate times. Keeping time. it to a minimum, I think. Keeping it to a minimum, and then it has to be movie, the movie you're watching related. Number two, ordering popcorn. I really want to make sure that the person I'm with orders popcorn. This is the reason. I actually do love popcorn. I love the smell of popcorn. I will not eat popcorn, so there's no point in me ordering it. And there's only one reason I don't order it. It gets stuck in my teeth. I got a piece of popcorn stuck in my teeth. There's 20 minutes of the movie gone right there. I know that feeling. Yeah, it's horrible. One of my friends almost choked to death. Kyle actually almost right. choked to death next to me while watching a movie recently. I don't want that to happen to me. I don't mind if it happens to him, though. Is that terrible? Of me? That that is terrible. Another really important thing with the movie partner. I just want to move. Oh, you have another question. I, I want to comment. I love getting popcorn at the movie theater. So well, I right. would be the perfect partner in this case. Uh, I don't know about that. I, Here's number three for uh, things that I want from a movie partner. Somebody that's willing to sit down and watch the credits roll with me. Mm. I don't want you to jump up. I don't want you to run out of the theater. Very I want good. you to sit there. And hey, even when the, the credits end and it's actually dark in the theater, I don't mind sitting there for a little bit and talking about the movie. So it's very important for a movie partner that we don't just move on. I have a hard time moving on after watching a movie. I need to live with the movie for at least another hour and talk about it. I I'm good with that because I'm on point. I like watching credits and I hate if I'm sitting in a section where everyone's just rushing out yeah. and it's like I'm moving for them and it's like, just everyone chill out. Just relax. Yeah. Just relax. It's literally 20 more seconds. Relax. I like that. I like that. So, my final one that, final. That, that, that I think is really important. So, it's like a four parter. It's a four tier four system. Four horseman system. Four tier system. There's a couple. I like of, the horseman system. <laughs> realistically, I want you to smell good, but I don't want you to smell too good. I want you to kind of smell neutral because I want to smell the popcorn. <laughs> And I was, I was gonna to say, popcorn. I was gonna say, usually I have popcorn. It's the only thing I could smell in a movie. Yeah, theater. yeah. So neutral smells. Neutral smells. Is that is that 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 makes sense to you? Eh? That makes sense. So that's it. There's my four tier system. I like to call it the four horsemen etiquette of movie watching with Clifton Nicholas and Real Four Gather. horsemen. Very well done, sir. Thank you, sir. Well done. Can I add one to your? I would like for you to do. I that. literally have one. <laughs> Don't be on your cell phone texting, mm. searching. Instagram or yeah. Facebook that drives me up yeah. the wall even though I should not pay attention right. I spend the whole time paying attention at that person. Yeah, and, not, and I, I just missed the movie. Thank you so much. This is the deadly dailies 
You know what they should do? What should they do? We subscribe to the channel. Right there. Yeah, subscribe to it. Why not? Right? Let us know what your like pet peeves. Let us know if you have any <laughs> sort of of criteria to the perfect partner. Things you like. You can tell me things you hate, yeah. because it's always fun. Man, we could go on forever about the things we hate, but I really want to hear about the things you like. And this is science. This is science. We want science. With Cliff and Yes.